Hello, this is Mr. Tybox123, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Atlona AT DP400 Dual Link DVI 2 Mini Display Port Converter that you can see in the picture. Just before I actually go into doing the unboxing of that, I'd like to explain the reason behind the requirement to purchase this particular converter. So I have a Mac Pro with Dual 5770 ATI graphics cards and what I would like to be able to do is be able to boot into a Windows Boot Camp and run games using iFinity over potentially the six monitors that I've got connected but initially at least the three 27 inch Apple cinema displays that I have connected and the problem with that is that the Apple Cinema displays unfortunately and probably the only negative point about the screen in my opinion is that they only have the mini display port cable attached to them so you can only plug them into a mini display port graphics card adapter and on the back of the ATI 5770 graphics cards that are inside the Mac Pro there's only two mini display port adapters and one DVI port. So with three Apple Cinema displays, it's not possible to get the three of them on a single graphics card, meaning that iFinity doesn't allow me to actually create a screen which is covering the three 27 inch Apple Cinema displays. So here's a picture of what I've got set up at the moment, and the bottom three monitors are the 27 inch cinema displays and what I'm trying to do is to be able to boot into bootcamp and select the bottom three Apple monitors as a single monitor and then be able to play games across those three screens because at the moment I've had to have them plugged into two separate graphics cards which means that iFinity won't allow you to connect them up as a single screen unless you've got Crossfire which I haven't got between the two graphics cards at the moment although I have ordered a bridge and I'll talk about that in a later video. So into the unboxing and what we can see here is the actual box itself comes in some very nice packaging from Atlona. I actually had to order this from America I think it came in at about $140 the retail price I believe is about $200 and I'll put some links in the description so as you can actually see the place where I actually purchased this piece of equipment from and in fact you can see here that the device itself supports up to 2560 by 1600 or the more common 2560 by 1440 which is obviously the resolution of the 27 inch Apple cinema display that is the name of the company where I actually purchased from, this from and like I say I got a very good price for it and they delivered it internationally from the States to the UK. I ordered it on Friday and it came today which is Monday so very very pleased with their service. So the box itself just slides out from a sleeve which has got all of that information on that we just looked at and then the box itself is just a, a white box, a very nice white box I might add and inside that box we have the instruction manual and user guide and, and various bits of information as you can see here typical kind of stuff and then more importantly underneath that we have the converter itself and it looks like a very nice bit of kit when you initially get it out very good build quality very nice piece of equipment doesn't look like it's going to fall apart or break very nice indeed so there it is the AT DP400 Atlona Dual Link DVI 2 mini display port converter it's actually powered by USB as well so you don't need any external power to go to it there's the mini display output that goes to your cinema display got a reset button in case there's a problem and a power light 
um, some serial number information there and then on the other side we've got the DVI cable itself that's going to plug into the DVI socket on the 5770 and the USB cable which is going to actually power the device itself. So as you can see very nice looking piece of kit indeed. Very happy with it. Very happy with the way it looks and the build quality. And in fact on the top there you've actually got an audio input so as you can actually push the audio through to the audio speakers on the actual cinema display itself as it would normally come from the mini display port. So that is my unboxing of the Atlona 80 DP400. I'm going to connect this up now and then see if I can actually get this thing working under boot camp so I can get that iFinity running across the three 27 inch cinema displays and I'll do a video at some stage in the future so as you can actually see for yourselves this working hopefully and thank you very much for listening. This is the business, we'll take with this, type of history.